Well, what a lovely group of people. It's good to see you today. It's good to be back this year. I, uh, if you remember visiting last summer at the invitation of uh, For the Contrail? Uh, where is For the Contrail? Ah, lovely to see you, Father. Isn't it? The, the rector or the director of the San Miguel Conference. It's lovely to be here. Um, I look a little different than I did last year. Um, frankly, uh, after I stayed in Jamaica last summer, I went back to the uh, motherland and uh, I was a little disappointed with the old C of E. So I'm nearing retirement, so I decided to take retirement and uh, leave. <laughs> Couldn't leave fast enough. C of E's been very frustrating. It just seems to be full of lady clerics and homosexuals. <laughs> it's not the church I grew up in, but uh, I found a new jurisdiction. Uh, well, first, I, I was visiting with some friends, and they recommended the, the Catholic Reformed Anglican Province, the CRAP. <laughs> and uh, so I gave it a try for a little while, I found that it was um, a load of crap. Um, Aptly named. Uh, the youth program. I, I started to start my own San Miguel conference over in England. The, the C-R-A-P-Y. Uh, youth. Uh, but uh, that was a bit crappy. So anyway, I no longer a canon. Uh, obviously, I was... Uh, actually, I was made an archdeacon in the CRAP, but that, that didn't last very long. I discovered holy orthodoxy. This wonderful holy orthodoxy. Uh, I, I went to a, a gathering of a society of such and other, I can't remember what it was, but, but it was, oh, it was the Society for the Suppression of Heresy. And uh, it was an exciting conference. Uh, a man gave a speech, uh, Archimandrite Archibald, and uh, he was one of he gave a talk about the filioque, you know, the, the line and the creed and the sun. Those Easterners had a lot of trouble with that. He seemed to have a lot of trouble with his son, too. I mean, he didn't want anything coming from his son, didn't want anything coming from the son. So, I found it intriguing, and I thought I might give Holy Orthodoxy a try. So I was uh, ordained with a lovely jurisdiction. It's growing leaps and bounds. Uh, I'm now a Metropolitan Callistos Shrewsbury, <laughs> my new name. And, uh, it's called the, uh, the English Orthodox Church outside of England. Uh, we don't have very many people yet. Uh, we have six clergy. We've doubled the number of laity from two to four. Uh, so we're doing very well, we're growing exponentially. Uh, after my visit here, I'm going up to Kansas as a part of an ecumenical delegation uh, to visit Pope Michael. We thought we might try to establish relationships. I hope uh, that doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> I've enjoyed visiting America again. Um, getting to uh, visit the conference, uh, very hot here, it's probably over 30 degrees every day. Went down to the uh, dining hall. I tell you, I, I don't understand how you Americans can eat so many beans. <laughs> beans, beans, beans. Uh, gives me gastrointestinal distress. <laughs> the squitters and the squirts. Uh, I understand you had a discussion uh, last night about you poop in heaven. <laughs> this is a very interesting theological dilemma. You know, it's a, it has separated East and West for a thousand years. <laughs> that question. Uh, the Orthodox believe you do not poop in heaven. Now, actually, uh, there is a theory of one of the uh, uh, leading uh, theoretical theologians uh, the blessed hermit Saint Commodus said that uh, one may relieve oneself during the millennial reign, but then has to hold it for the eschaton. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a joy to be at San Miguel Conference again, to see Father Con Trail again. It was a glorious mess this morning, don't you think? I just love mess. 
for the yeast has really risen to the occasion. <laughs> He's gotten all the acolytes. Uh, well, he needs to whip them into shape a little bit. Huh? In fact, I, for the yeast, I found that whipping actually works. <laughs> so Father Studley again told me all about uh, Deacon Stumblefield, and uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I understand no one likes him. <laughs> the poor devil. <laughs> I heard good things about St. Gravio Conference. I was talking to Father Matlin the other day about it. I'll have to check it out. But uh, it was a joy to be with you. I will probably retire early to my meditation chamber and see if I can look for the light of Tabor. I will look for you tomorrow. Uh, see you uh, in the chapel. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Please come to the stage. 